nothing beats a good book for four-year-old Blakely Kinzer. A fat bunny. Even though Blakely isn't old enough to read yet, she helps deliver books to kids in the hospital through the Ellie Project. I hope the new books feel, make you feel a little better. But this is only a portion of what the Ellie Project does. It also supplies hope bags to sick children before Christmas. We got that bag and it was just the sweetest thing, just her having toys to be able to play with, things to keep her occupied. Ella Reese Schessler has severe asthma and has had multiple hospital stays. Her mom Heather says this is the first and only time she's ever gotten a bag like this. Just knowing that someone thought enough to think like parents are going through a hard time at this point, kids are going through a hard time and we want to make that a little bit easier for them. And Ellie Project founder Christy Kearns does know what it's like. On November 2nd, 2016, Christy delivered her fourth child named Ellie. We went in for an ultrasound. Um, she wasn't moving and they discovered there wasn't a heartbeat. So when we went into the hospital, we knew we were going to be delivering a stillborn. Before Christy left the hospital, she was given a bag with items in memory of her precious baby girl. It was able to give me hope that somebody else made it through it and survived and what what can we do with this? And this project became our, what can we give our daughter? That same year, Christy began collecting books and other items in hopes to deliver 10 bags to Carbondale Hospital. She ended up getting enough donations for 20 bags. And last year, she delivered 140 bags. The fact that you can give back and give hope to more people and and be able to just do something for your child has been amazing. This year, Christy hopes to get enough donations to deliver 300 bags to five different hospitals. She now delivers the books all year round, and these specially decorated rocks are given or hidden so someone can find them. The main purpose is really to reach out and spread hope because that's so needed right now. And Marion with this week's Unsung Hero, Evie Allen, News 3.